Cardano has finally broken through its major resistance and is pumping super hard today. So today we're going to have a look at the charts and news, looking specifically at Cardano and Ethereum and Cardano and Bitcoin. So we're going to start with the Cardano USD chart just to give us a bit of perspective. If you're a returning subscriber, thank you very much, guys. Be sure to hit that like button before we get started. It goes a long way to helping out the channel. And if you're new to the channel, thank you for stopping by. My name is Jason. Be sure to hit the subscribe button down below and the bell notification icon so you're updated with this cryptocurrency content. We cover a lot of the major cryptos plus altcoins throughout this bull market. So let's have a look at Cardano. Now, the USD chart is looking super strong. First thing I need to do is get rid of the Hopium gone. This is your hopium free cryptocurrency channel. So let's take a look at what's really going on here. Zooming in on the charts, you know, we love to use bar charts and get rid of those colorful little candles. And right now the resistance was at around 40 cents. So we can see on the weekly chart because we're obviously scaling out. We don't want to get messed up the hourlies, four hourlies, 30 minute charts. We want to look at the macro picture because we want to make macro gains. We're not here for the micro stuff. 40 cents was our resistance. We've broken through that. The first resistance that we came up against earlier uh, in late last year was around the 20 cent mark. So we've exploded through that and now hit 40 cents, coming up to 50 cents. Where do I see this going next? I'm looking at my fib retracement and that is from the all time high, which is set back in late 2017, sorry, early 2018, pretty much on that week that we were changing over from one year to the next. And then we tack it to the major all time low, which was at 1.7 cents set during the coronavirus crash. Now, what we're looking at here is a division of this range. And the first stop is at 55 cents, call it 54.6. That's a 38% of the range itself. So that's our Fibonacci tool numbers. 50% is obviously not a Fibonacci tool number, but it's a very major resistance and support line. So from 55 cents, if we happen to blow through that right now, then 71 cents is our next level. We smash through that. We go on to 87 cents and then of course the massive psychological number of a dollar. Can Cardano hit a dollar? So we've broken through the major resistance. This is a fantastic sign that it is going further. If we do happen to falter here, then like we see with every other cryptocurrency and stock, we might get a little rollover just to come back and test the resistance which now becomes support. So that's one scenario that can play out. Next scenario is that we just blow straight through 55 cents and head up to our 50% mark, which is at 71 cents. At some point, we're going to take a bit of a breather and I suspect it's going to be somewhere around here or somewhere around our 61.8. These are very common levels that markets will resist and take a little bit of a breather before they reaccumulate and take on that level yet again. So from here, what are the ranges that we're looking at? We're at 49 cents as I record this, getting very close to that. So to our first stop at 55 is only about a 13% move away from here. Up to our 50% is at 46%. And then we start moving up to around our 80% move from where we are to hit that 61%. This is such an important level as it is confirmation that Cardano is about to go on its mega bull run. We first had our first confirmation back in June as it started to break through its highs down below here and then started to test them again. So this is what we saw on Bitcoin and we saw it happen on Ethereum. So the same chart pattern is happening again. And what we're seeing this time is breaking through this old high set back in 2018. If we happen to sit on it, like we've just talked about, that is also a fantastic sign. We don't need to go straight up to the top. We would actually rather see it come back and test the support or at least hold up for some time to reaccumulate before it takes off again. So that would be the ultimate thing to see here for Cardano. A rest, reaccumulate, push on again. We have just seen a rest and accumulation in the past few weeks. So I wouldn't be surprised if we happen to take out 55 cents and stop somewhere around the 70 to 80 cent level just to reaccumulate. That's not the end of it, but there does need to be some breathing time. So this is looking very, very strong bullish signs for Cardano. Now let's take a look at Cardano versus Bitcoin because we wanna figure out whether Cardano can outpace Bitcoin. 
as in get us more gains against our Bitcoin value because we're expecting Bitcoin to be increasing in value from here. It's in a bull market, it should be going up. So if Cardano can't outpace Bitcoin, then there is no point in holding Cardano. And you know, if you've been watching the channel, we compare this on every other cryptocurrency that we hold. We want to be stacking the sats, getting more Bitcoin. And if the cryptos that we're invested in can't outpace Bitcoin, then there is just no point in holding them. We might as well hold Bitcoin and get the dollar value increase from there. Let's put on our drawing tools. And so far we are seeing Bitcoin come up to its first signs of resistance which is at around 1600 Satoshis. Right now we're at 1300, so we don't have too far to go to test this first level. I suspect we may get a little bit of a pullback, but nothing major, because the other pattern that we are lining up with is a kind of ugly, but not too bad looking inverse head and shoulders. So here's a shoulder, here is a head, there's another shoulder. Now this is a bullish sign and on a macro scale, we're looking at a weekly chart here. This is not a four hour chart or a one hour chart or any sort of micro time frame. This is a macro picture. And if we can break this, then we've got huge upside potential from here. So where is the point of breaking? Well, it's the neckline and the neckline is drawn from the shoulders while the pits in this point right here and here. Draw that across. And what we want to see is Cardano to burst through that and at worst come back, retest it and take off again from that point. So this is also looking pretty strong against Bitcoin. So, so far, I, th I think Cardano is a very good hold against Bitcoin, especially with what we're seeing here. Now, if this happened to fail, then you'd probably want to be out of Cardano and just better off holding Bitcoin. We're just looking at our risk here, not getting involved in the primal instincts of saying who's better, who's worse. Is Ethereum better than Cardano? At the end of the day, if you're here to make money, then you just have to follow the charts, which is the facts. They're showing us what's actually happening in the market, not what people are talking about online. So moving over from Bitcoin looks very good. Cardano versus the US dollar also looks good mostly because it looks good against Bitcoin and Bitcoin looks good against the US dollar. So the big test is, is Cardano stronger than Ethereum? Let's take a look at that chart. At first glance, things seem kind of skewed. What we do see is a higher low forming here. So we're in late 2020, the lows have become higher than the previous lows. We did have a blow off top, which came almost all the way back to the previous low, but so far we're beginning to hold our ground against Ethereum. So far, Ethereum has been the better hold for a number of years. It has, Cardano has gone nowhere against Ethereum and Ethereum's just been the better hold. So what we're hoping to see is for Cardano to outpace Ethereum as well, which would make it a better investment than holding Ethereum or Bitcoin. So let's throw on our drawing tools and the next point of resistance, the part we need to overcome in order to perform better than Ethereum is our 50%. So we're testing our 38%. This is of the range. 50% is at 38,000. Now the next point up there is 42,500. So if we can overcome these, then we look set to try to hit the old tops at 58,000. Now what we often see in Cardano is spikes and then fades. And this has been the pattern throughout its history. Bar this initial uh, entry here, which is pretty much when Cardano first came out, this is our chart pattern, just range bound against Ethereum. So if we were to use Cardano, it could be a good way to get more Ethereum, but ultimately so far history has shown that Cardano comes back to its starting point, which isn't a great thing for long-term holding. So maybe in this case, it would be much better to see Cardano take out the tops in this level against Ethereum. So we wanna see it take out 58,000, hold above that level, and then start to make its way higher. This is obviously gonna be impacted by the price of Ethereum. So if Ethereum continues to head up pretty strongly, then we could expect to see this chart suffer unless Cardano pulls out something big and pushes up even harder, faster, higher, than Ethereum. We've just covered three charts, Cardano versus USD, Cardano versus Bitcoin, and Cardano versus Ethereum. And the first two, Cardano was looking quite strong, but against Ethereum, it is still very questionable. It hasn't proven itself yet, so it's a much higher risk. In that case, Ethereum is looking like the safer bet 
But if you did want to take a gamble, not that this is financial advice, then this is probably not such a bad entry point considering there is upside potential even if Cardano fails against Ethereum price, then you could still find that level. If it fails against that at 58,000 or 57,000, then there is an exit there. If it happens to break that, then this could look very, very strong and surpass Ethereum's growth. So in that case, Cardano could be good, but it's unproven yet, which therefore means it is much higher risk and we could be better off holding Ethereum. So this is yet to be proven. However, if you didn't care about Ethereum, you don't wanna to touch it at all, and you only want to look at Cardano versus Bitcoin, then Cardano is definitely looking like a stronger hold at this point. So that's great news for Cardano. Could Cardano hit a dollar? I definitely think so. I think that is now written into the books. It has crossed its highs. I think a dollar is just a matter of time. A dollar fifty, I think so, but obviously we've got the all-time high to get through. Considering Bitcoin blew straight through its all-time high, Ethereum took some time, might wind up here as well. I do think Cardano will probably break its all-time high as it's not that far away now. Two bucks, probably. Where does that leave us in a market cap valuation? Cardano is 15 billion at the moment at 50 cents, so if we were just to double the numbers to make it easy, that would be a dollar would be a 30 billion market cap. For $2, that'd be a 60 billion market cap. So we're still well below Ethereum and Bitcoin. So a $2 Cardano probably isn't out of the question. Now we start to ramp up. Could we get to a $5 Cardano? That would just mean 10X from where we are now. And 10X on Cardano's market cap is 150 billion. I'm not sure how these top 10 cryptocurrencies are going to go in this bull market. That is a lot of billions coming through the market, which would have to find its way into the market somewhere. If not bleeding from Bitcoin or Ethereum, coming in fresh into these cryptos. And we know that fresh money generally comes into Bitcoin and starting to come into Ethereum. So that could be a big ask from these levels for a lot of these top 10s. It's not out of the question, that's for sure, but it is looking like a much bigger task. So if we're looking for 5X, 7x something safe and reasonable within the crypto space and we all know crypto probably isn't reasonable at the best of times then a 5 or 7x probably isn't looking so bad and i definitely think that's on the cards considering it's not that far away right now so a two or three dollar uh, cardano is probably on the cards i think a three dollar cardano is in the picture so i'm going to look at swiftx this is an aussie exchange and now i've got my demo portfolio here I just want to go in and purchase some Cardano. So I'm going to set up a portfolio with cryptocurrencies that I think will do quite well throughout this bull market. So if you guys want to follow along with uh, the portfolio, be sure to hit the subscribe button down below here and the bell notification icon so you can be updated with the portfolio and the channel. All I'm going to do here is go across to trade, buy, and then search for Cardano, searching assets. And we know that the ticker symbol for Cardano is ADA. That's gonna pop us up. We're gonna favorite that, hit Cardano, and we want to buy a thousand bucks. So I'm going a thousand AUD. That's gonna give me 1500 ADA. So instant buy. Tells me exactly how much the fee is. Confirm the buy. And there we have it. Thousand dollars. Well, after the fee, $992 of Cardano in our portfolio. I'm gonna to continue to fill out this portfolio keep it relatively safe with some other gamblers in there as well. So let's see how we can track across this bull market. If you wanted to get involved as well, you just need to set up a SwiftX account. I've got the link to that in the description down below. They have hundreds of cryptocurrencies on this exchange. So check it out. If you don't want to put any real money in, just click the demo on at the top here and you'll get this yellow and black feature across the top. You can see here my portfolio is 13,000 in total and I've got 8% sitting in Cardano. Now there's a huge bonus to Cardano, holding it that is, and it's what a lot of people love about it, and that is staking. You can check out the rewards on stakingrewards.com. Cardano up here, 48 cents. Reward is 4.2% at the moment, and the staked value that's locked up is 10.65 billion. That's 71% of the supply. That's absolutely huge. And that's compared to Ethereum, Ethereum 2.0, which is only 2% of the total supply locked up at 4 billion. Obviously, Ethereum 2.0, there's a lot more Ethereum out there in terms of uh, dollars. So that's something to keep in mind. But at the end of the day, Cardano, 4%, not a bad return. So this one here, you can go on and check out any other returns from cryptocurrencies that you can get for just staking those cryptos. 
So that's my full breakdown of Cardano. We have checked out the entire history of Cardano against USD, against Bitcoin and against Ethereum. And after looking at the charts, I've considered it a reasonable purchase for my demo portfolio in SwiftX. Reason being is I think it's strong against USD and against Bitcoin value. The questionable mark is, is it going to outperform Ethereum? And we've got our markers to keep track of in case it doesn't. But from this point, I think it's a much safer bet than waiting any longer to get into Cardano, which is why I've purchased it in my SwiftX account there. If you found value from the video, leave us a like, get us to 500 likes on the video. It goes a long way to helping us out in the YouTube algorithm. If you want to track along, follow the journey with our uh, altcoin portfolio, be sure to hit the subscribe button and the bell notification icon. Let's get the channel to 50,000 subscribers. And lastly, there's still 40% off the cryptocurrency long-term trading program. It's in the description down below. So just use all of those official links in the description. Come and join us in the group, learn about trading crypto stocks and managing your investment portfolio long-term. Thanks again for joining me. And until next time, have more fun to get more done.